Howdy guys and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be making a easy whipped soap. Normally I do the uh, whipped soap where I add my own lye and all the hard, more hard oil than soft oil. So whip, 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 whip away. This time I'm cheating. I bought a big old bucket over here as you can see of the already made whipped soap. So that's what we're going to do. And I've already made a couple. This is my first time now, you guys. And uh, it's scented in money. And then I just threw a couple of black uh, jojoba beads on top. Seems how it's a, kind of a man's soap, so I made it a man's uh, fragrance. Well, I made it into a man's look-alike. <laughs> um, this time, and I just bought these I think I bought a case. Four, four, eight, no, 16. There were 16 of them. No, 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah. So, I probably will get about five out of this one, too. Uh, that one was scented in money. This one will be scented in uh, Amber Romance. Uh, Victoria's Secret Dupe, which is one of my favorites. I did not realize that Nature's Garden carried it. And when I seen it, I had to get it. So, I already made my whip soap. Let me grab one. Still over here curing. This is actual whip soap. This is me doing hard oils versus soft oils. And, oh, it smells so good. And then I put a cold process embed in there. So, I'm going to be whipping and using my hand mixer because I don't have an automatic mixer. I don't do too much of this stuff to use one of those, so I'm not going to go out and buy one. Um, I do use this for my other hand, for my whipped soap as well. It's a little bit harder. It takes a little more time, but it's well worth it. Um, so, probably won't do too much talking through this video, but um, I got my soft oils. I add a little bit of goodies, and this is my fragrance oil as well. I got all this from... Missouri River Soap's uh, YouTube page. Um, except for mine's a little bit different. I think she, I got like coconut oil, which is what she had. My fragrance oil is different. Um, she has a light oil of uh, jojoba oil. I'm using uh, grapeseed oil. So, mine's a little bit different. Um, don't want to be a copycat, even though she shared a recipe. Anyways, well, without further ado, let's get started, guys. Just whip this up until it gets to peaks, and then we'll slowly mix in our liquids. down these sides. Yes, I'm using my Daisy Sour Cream container. My other container was a little too big that I used in my last one, so I downsized my container. And I'm going to make this a yellow. I'm going to make it mostly this uh, text cab yellow from Mad Micah's, but I'm going to add a little bit of the neon yellow electric slide from Crafter's Choice. And then I'm going to separate some of it and use this Voodoo Pink. Well, Mauve, Pink, whatever. Um, just for a topping on it. I'm not going to make it, I'm going to make most of it yellow. Since Amber Romance bottle is mostly yellow. So, alright.
You guys know me, I do not waste. So, we are scraping this to the brim. And I'm scooping it out. Mm. My cat just took a dump. Nice, thanks. You really had to do that right now, cat. Thanks, mister. You stinky butt. Oh my word, he stinks. By the way, my YouTube fans, I probably won't, uh, well, I wouldn't say fans, my YouTube subscribers, <laughs> that sounded a little big-headed, um, I probably won't, uh, edit over my talking or none of the whipping part, because, honestly, I hate doing all that, especially if I'm talking here and there throughout the video, so I'll have to go through, stop it, you know voiceover whatever anyways so i probably won't i'll just leave it at what it is so you guys if the blender gets on your nerves i'm really sorry um or the hand mixer but uh my first grandbaby was born thursday his name is liam anthony and he weighed seven pounds six ounces and i got to be in the room I almost passed out a few times, but that's just me. That's the way I always do. I watch two other friends have babies, 
and I almost passed out both times. I don't know what it is. I mean, I, didn't, I wasn't really seeing any blood or anything, but it's just the fact of thinking about them being in so much pain, I think, hurts me. <laughs> so, I almost passed out three or four times. Um, they had me sit down, gave me some orange juice. Of course, I had to steal the spotlight again. Not on purpose, guys. But, um, yeah, so, but I did get to, I, I did not pass out for the good part. I watched him come out, crown, and all that good stuff, and it was the most exciting stuff in my entire life that I've ever seen. They say that, you know, grandbabies are a lot different than your own babies, and it's so true. I mean, you love your own babies with all your heart, but you really, really, really love them, grandbabies. It's just like a whole nother love. But, ah, what a good fall. But, yep, he was born Thursday, October the 12th, so they get to go home sometime today. Probably won't go visit today. They live somewhere else. Oh, they don't live in my house anyways. So, I'll probably go visit once they get settled in. Um, but, yep, I just had to let you guys know that I'm a grandma at 40. <laughs> my son's 21, so he waited longer than I did at least. <laughs> But I'm extremely excited, and I hope the best for them both. I love them both to pieces. Her family's awesome. She's awesome. My son couldn't have picked a better woman to have a baby with, so. I love you, Courtney, and I love you, William. And I love you, baby Liam. So if you guys are watching this ever, just know that I love you guys. And thank you for making me a grandma. <laughs> I got two other kids, but I don't see any grandbabies out of them anytime soon. My daughter, she's... She's a good girl. She's she's going to wait for that right man, I think, before she has any kids, which is okay. I'm fine with that. And then my son, my youngest, he's 19, so I think he's more into his toys and getting money and working, so that's a good thing. But anyways, I just had to tell you guys exciting news. My baby Liam was born. <laughs> and, uh, yep. So, let me uh, get this mixed up a little bit more, and then we'll start piping into these jars. <laughs> Yeah, that was flying everywhere, wasn't it, guys? Didn't do that last time. Well, my kitchen will smell good, that's for sure. And everything around it. <laughs> Goodness. Didn't do that a minute ago when I was making the last batch. Of course, it would when I'm on camera. Okay. So, let me fill this piping bag and then I'll... Well, well I'll, I'll keep you guys on camera while I put the color in, too. Let's see. Like I said, we're only going to keep off a little bit for the top, for the pink. So I'll just put some of this, most of this, in this cup here. It smells so good. I love Amber Romance from Victoria's Secrets. That and Strawberry Champagne is my favorite. I've been using those, both of those. I'll get the spray and the lotion. I don't know what it is, but I cannot get out the shower and not put on my stuff. If I don't put on my lotion and my spray, I feel like my body just feels funny. I don't know. It feels like my body sticks together or something. I know I'm weird. Okay, so it's such a pretty white. I think that's enough. We're just, like I said, we're just going to do uh, we'll get a little bit more just in case. I'm just going to do the top of the jars with pink. A little bit of pink, but most of it's going to be yellow. These are probably going to look a little Eastery, like it's Easter time or something. Okay, where's my rag? There she is. I can hear the bubbles. <laughs> yeah, but again, guys, if you want the recipe for this, just go to um, Missouri River Soaps site on YouTube. She gives the recipe for this. Oh, why did I do that? That was silly. I need to put my collars in, you guys. That was goofball. 
Okay. Colors. <laughs> what a goon. Probably going to use quite a bit of this yellow. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the sparkles. And that's that taxi cab yellow from Mad Micah's. Now we're going to use the neon yellow just a little bit. We'll see what that does. I don't want it to be too pale, but I want it to be really pretty. So, here we go, guys. <laughs> okay. I knew that was going to happen. Gosh dang it. Dag nabbit. Maybe I should have mixed it in first. Oh well. stop this and wipe this down a little bit. This is just a mess right now. Look at all over my blender and everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. I knew that was going to happen. It happened with the last one. I don't know why I didn't watch that. Oh jeez, it got everywhere. <laughs> well, at least we know we got a pretty mess going on in the kitchen. It's pretty. Scrape these sides down real quick. Might put a little bit more yellow in there because I want a little bit more than that. I also wanted to let you guys know that if I'm not responding to some of your comments, I'm extremely sorry on my YouTube because I've just been so busy and I've been trying to keep up with it, but it's like once I upload a video, it's like the comments just come and it's so hard to keep up with. So. If I have not commented back to you guys, I'm extremely sorry. It's not on purpose, y'all. Let me get a little bit more in here. That should be enough. Now this time we're going to try to mix it in a little bit. So we ain't got a mess. Just flop it in there. Well, I still want to make a mess, isn't it? Okay. Scrape that in there. Wipe off my fingers. There's it's all my fingers. A mess. Good thing it's just soap. I'll scrape these bad boys off as much as I can. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'll rinse them off in a minute when I do my pink. Um, now I'm, this might take a little bit of time because uh, I can't fill my piping bag too much via learn my lesson on the last one because it kept coming out the top of it <laughs> like an idiot I should know better oh look at some of this yellow is not mixed up it's on the side okay let's start getting some of this in my piping bag uh, <laughs> I don't want to mess Bit more here. 
pipe it. We'll do just a layer or something on the bottom of each one of them. Okay, we need another napkin. I dry up my hands because they're slippery. Maybe I should have put a little bit of body glitter in this. That would have been cute. Alright, make sure you guys can see me do this. This is the hard part, guys. I'm trying to make it look cute all the way around the jar. Okay, there's that one. See you in there. Next. Boop. See, I got five out of that one. Did not, oh yeah, I got five jars for this one. Okay. Two more for the bottoms, and then we'll fill them up the bag up again. Let's push it down a little bit. I should have used my bigger bags, honestly. in the bag. <laughs> Just drop it in. I think I should get another rubber spatula. A little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to get another spatula so I can leave this one in there and use the other one to scrape this down with. So, One sec, guys. Okay, we're back. <laughs> That was fast. By the way, I did spray everything down with alcohol. Washed my hands a million times already. Alright, on to the next. I'm just going to set it down here like this, so hopefully you guys can see me. Do these three first. Okay, next. Scrape her down before she starts coming out the top. And then the only thing I notice is that uh, Missouri River Soap, the lady from her uh, that channel, said that she only got, I think she said she got two 8-ounce jars and two 4-ounce jars with this recipe. 
I'm getting five eight ounce jars of mine. And it's the same, I used the same amounts of all the stuff that she used. So. All right, scrape this down. Maybe we can get the rest of this into the next one over here. Got to remember to save some room for the pink on top. Let's see, I can't see with it all the way down there. Okay, get this in the middle. Actually, we're just going to fill her up again. You guys already know when I pipe, I usually use a cellophane to put my stuff in, which is what I should have done, because I hate doing it this way. It's so messy, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, is some of this still white? Are you kidding me? Look at that. Some of it's still white. Blender must not have got up in there good enough. Okay. Hope I got enough time to actually record. My phone's filled up from my last couple of soaps that I haven't got downloaded yet. Might as well stick with this one for a minute. be the last round on this one and then I'll save the rest for the pink so pretty see y'all see okay next we gotta get some of this in the middle here Yep. Hmm. Crud. run alone it's making me angry might have a little more pink and a few that I wanted because this don't look like this is going to be enough well I got three more to do I think we'll be all right. Of course, I don't measure, so that would be my fault. Let's 
scrapey scrapey as graveyard girl and royalty says even though I've said that my whole life <laughs> I guess they get the credit for it Alright, there goes the pink, or the yellow. Let's get this in the jars. I was going to use that bowl for the pink. I was going to put that, here, that white back in that bowl. And... Yep, I knew that was going to happen too. Holy crud. We'll get it together sometime today. There we go. Another one. We should have enough. If not, one will have a little bit more pink than the other ones, so. But that one's plum full, so it won't get too much pink. Now, honestly, probably could have done just four. It been okay. I would have had a little bit left over, but I could have put it in a jar for myself. That's alright, though. Need to fill this one up just a little bit more. Now I need to get this pink going. So where's my bucket? I know here all messy. Get this size up down a little bit here. It's okay if the yellow mixes with the sun. I'm okay with that. So we will rinse this off. Sorry if I'm bumping you guys. I'm sorry. I went off my mixer too. I've got much yellow. I think the longer this mix sits, the you guys see the steam from the hot water. <laughs> I think the longer this sits, the long, the harder the recipe gets. So it's not as fluidity. It won't just melt in your hand like it feels like it will. All right. Oh, my mixer's about had it. It was a generic one from the dollar, or no, from the iBots. So, I'm not too impressed. Yeah, but look at that. You can see all the yellow in there. Oh my gosh. No wonder it's about had it. It says, I'm done. I'm done with you and your antics. Alright, let's get some pink mixed up here. Paper towel. Soap. We'll just do it in this cup. There's a way too small to be mixing in with the mixer. pink should drown out that yellow. That yellow is a light color so we should be good on that.
What the heck? I don't know where that came from. Silly. Oh boy, here we go with this uh, mica. <laughs> this is about to be funny. Might as well put my mount that I'm running now because I'm not doing this twice. So hopefully that's enough. Get off my. Silly not. Getting there, guys. Getting there. Got some mica down in there we need to get. Pretty. Pretty and pink. Okay. Mix this up for a minute. I don't know, we won't have mica flying everywhere. Okay, right. now the fun part that I absolutely adore doing. <laughs> mm, the piping. Well, at least putting in the piping bag. I love to pipe. I can pipe all day. I just hate putting it in the bag. Man, come on. There's freaking mica that got down in the corner down here that's not mixed in. Should have known that was going to happen. Shack nabbit. Dang it, Jim. No. Any of you guys ever watched the old Star Trek? I only had to because of my uncle. I really. Well, I can't say I didn't like it. I liked Star Trek was okay. Or what's his name would say, excuse my French, but damn it, Jim. Was it the Scotty that said that or the doctor or something? Or Spock was always my favorite. I think I had a lightweight crush on him. <laughs> always had a crush on Steven Tyler too from Aerosmith. <laughs> Everybody's like, ew. And Mick Jagger, honestly. I used to love Mick Jagger. I listen to mostly rock, uh, rap. Well, R&B nowadays, though. Love my rap. I don't know, but ever since uh, Tupac and Biggie died, rap just ain't been the same, honestly. 
just gets worse and worse. So I kind of stick to my country sometimes, most of the time. Okay. But honestly, I like all music. I even like some bluegrass. Wasn't this the special I got for the purpose of pushing this color down? <laughs> and here I go using it for the pink. So, oh no, there's another one I got it right here. It sure is fluffy, that's for sure. I end up breaking my. I wonder. It's going to be yellow for just a second, so we'll find our one that don't have as much yellow, which is this one. About the only video I'm going to be able to do today without having to upload. All right. Oh, isn't that pretty cool? Still gonna be a little yellowish, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, we'll do this guy next. Okay, now it's at the top. I wanna scrape. We'll go around. Still got some yellow mixed in there though. That's pretty cool though. Different. Ta da! Two more. I got quite a bit extra in here. I might just end up with extra for myself, I reckon. Uh, I don't Okay, should be it, you guys. <laughs> Cause I don't know how much battery I got or room I got left on my phone anyway. So hopefully this is about it. Smells so good. The kitchen smells awesome right now. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I know he was gonna do that. Stop it. 
Ooh, we got just enough. Five. Might go like this one up just a little bit more. Who knows? We'll have to see here. Yeah, let's go around that one. Let's see if I can, anyways. Yeah. This one I wanted to go around. I think so. Okie dokie, there we go, guys. Not much left, so we're just going to throw it out in there. Yay! See the bubbles on the counter from it. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Now we're going to do just a little bit of this because we are females. All right, there we go. There you have it. Five jars of whipped amber romance soap. And it smells so good. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. I think that one looks the best. Take a picture of her. Take a picture. I don't know. This one looks cute too. This one and this one. So we'll put those two up front and get pictures of those two. How about that? <laughs> Alright guys. Well, I appreciate you joining me. Thank you. It was a crazy little video, I guess. But, uh, you guys, uh, stay tuned for more and hit that thumbs up, that like, subscribe, give me a comment. I love it when you guys comment. And, uh, I guess I'll see you guys back some other day. Bye now. Have a great weekend.